This conference will now be recorded. So data will be stored in the tabular format in the table format. Okay, so table is a logical structure made up of row and column. Okay, row and column is like this. Okay, this is your row. Okay, which is a row each row is your one entry and column names are the titles of the data. Okay, so database table is created and it will hold the data. And temporary tables can store intimate query results. Okay, so that we will see. This is your table. This is a table name. What is the table name, student? Right, so this is your table name. And with this name, we can retrieve the data. Okay, select star from student means all the data in this table it will be printed. So this is student ID and the name will be for example Gina. So there might be n number of rows means n number of data are available. So this data is nothing but you can consider as a Excel where there is a row and column. Okay, so data will be stored in the tabular format. Database is a logical grouping of a data. It contains a set of related table spaces and index spaces. Logically, so database contains all the data and associated with one application or a group of related applications. So you are creating a software for student uh, school management for example so or a college management it is like applications will come your lecturers and everything uh, the details will be there classroom details uh, classes details exam details are there you are creating a portal for student management student enrollment something like that so for that application you need the tables to store that all details who all are coming to our site and registering so you are uh, for example for one degree so for that people are applying okay for your degree engineering degree uh, it computers so multiple registrations are coming from that registrations data will be taken where it is stored in the table okay application will take the data and it will be behind that it will be storing in the database so the thousand entries will come thousand people are applying for that or a lakhs of people are applying for that through that portal okay so the entries will be created in that table so how it will be it is a student table okay so here how the student table will be so first will be student id it is your column name it can be anything okay it can be student name it can be stud name the name you give that way it will be created okay so we can create a table so who will create this developers will create table so we no need to worry about how the tables are created we have to understand how the data is stored and how we are going to test it so these are the column names your developer will give student id name okay the branch they are applying for or else again then marks of their previous exams okay entrance exam or anything so they are providing the entrance or providing the registration details here so this is all your columns of your application which application the application you are showing here for the registration it can be any application okay this is your software and then your developer will create a table to store a data just a minute guys Okay, so what will be the student ID? It is a student ID 1001. Okay, and uh, the name is and then branches. So they're applying for a IT and then marks are some 100 or 130, 140. Okay, anything and your IDs will be unique always. Okay, and the name will be any name it can be right. So next applicant the name is again different uh, an, another one so this will be like this 
okay so guys able to understand and all are applying for different different some are applying for a com some are applying for a civil some are for a me for anything okay so different thing so guys data will be stored in the database some logical structure will be data will be created in some logical format so each column will hold the value of that type okay so this is the data it is holding id okay here this column is holding name this all table is a student table which is holding the data of student why we need a table to store a data so what data we are storing the application data okay so your software related data what data you are receiving in the application what data you are going to show on a your portal okay so tomorrow you have developed a registration for example okay here uh, student management portal you have created so registration is there and after the student is registered he will search for his uh result right okay he got a application or not he got selected or not or if he got selected you will send a mail and then he can search his own name is there a his name available on that list or not so you will be publishing the list from this table so what table the table will be sorted on the marks basis okay the marks will be taken and then on that so highest few candidates will be getting the seats how that will be shown on the system okay internally the data they need to store somewhere internally they have to store that data in a table and they will perform different logical operations okay insertion deletion update okay sorting some anything they can perform and then in this table once the table is created data entry they are adding means updating the table right so some other ca candidate is coming he is providing the registration details some other candidate is pro coming and he is adding his details for the registration it means updating the table right and when we want to show in the search that that candidate is registered or not so that is means searching right so we are searching amruta registered for this or not okay gina is searching for her uh, entry is like her, she already applied for that one or not so like that if the candidate is searching so what operation a database on the database we are performing search operation right different operations we can perform so this is the logical structuring of the data in the table format here the data is stored so what is a database able to understand guys what is a column column is column will hold the particular type of data okay this is holding only the id okay it is holding only the names columns is a ordered set of columns it will hold such as student id student name okay branch marks like that rows each row contains the single student entry here swati is a student name for her entry this is the row entire row is for her so her marks her branch all details okay second entry is for rajni only third entry is for amruta only okay so that one single user entry one user or one student entry is created in one row one row will represent a one entry for that student yes or no guys yes 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 rajini yes so guys able to understand everyone or you already know this yes understood rajini okay anyone who already know all this i know already because i am a computer student so okay nandini okay fine okay so uh, what is primary key nandini you are aware of what is the key 
Uh, yes, Rajini, but <laughs> right now I uh, cannot think of it. But I learned primary key and uh, joint key. Yeah, so many keys are there, I guess. Okay, yeah. So, okay, no worries. Uh, others, you are new, right? So, I'll cover everything. Just I wanted to know, like, if so you maybe, know maybe. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, that will be revision yeah, yeah, yeah. for you. I'm aware Nandini. of it, okay. but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will be revision for you. No worries. Okay. So quickly you can revise everything here. Okay. And okay. So uh, what is the key here? So key is a column that are identified as a creation of a table. And table or a index in this definition. So what is the definition of your table so this is my student table okay guys so this is my student table the definition of this table is there are four columns and column uh, are student id student name branch and marks okay so so what is the uh, keys are so there are different keys primary key unique key foreign key okay primary key is a table can only have one primary key and in that primary key there are rules okay so it must have a value and it should be unique okay so if i specify this table okay student table and the student id as a primary key then the rule is student id should not be null and student id cannot be repeat so okay so i cannot give again 1001 to another candidate so primary key will be always unique okay so you have to specify or you can specify one column only as a primary key for a table primary key means that will be unique and it will not allow null got it it must have a value it should not be a blank it cannot be a blank and it should be unique okay already taken value it will not allow okay so the next student who is providing the registration okay he will have student id unique only the name will be no need to be unique okay people can have the same name but why we need this primary key guys why we need because each row we have to differentiate tomorrow is there is a rajni again someone is coming as a rajni and they are going to search okay their entry is already there so what will happen there will be duplicate entry right so each entry we have to differentiate from other entry right this rajni is different this rajni is different okay some other jina is coming and they are uh, providing the details okay so this jina and this jina we have to differentiate with what we can differentiate with the student id right so we will be giving after registration we'll be giving them the student id okay this is your id so tomorrow they can search with that id so that they are unique okay so there will be no confusion that okay rajni got selected who or jina got selected who okay right so they have to know that so what will be making unique the id will make them unique okay able to understand guys what is the primary key a table can have only one primary key okay and whenever you specify that as a primary key and entry you are creating for that so it will not be accepting null and repetitive it will not take okay duplicate values it will not take okay there is a unique key so we can give unique key as well okay so primary keys are the unique keys okay so we already know that primary keys are must be unique okay so but in a table you can specify more than a one column as a unique key okay so unique key you are specifying for another okay for example they are uh, having other details okay student roll number is there or uh, uh, any other number is there mobile number is there so mobile number unique you are 
uh, giving that property why always it should be unique only right so each candidate will have a different mobile number so unique key you can give so while creating we can give this key okay so one column only you can give as a primary key multiple columns you can give as a unique key and there can be a foreign key foreign key is a key that is specified in a reference of this prime primary key okay foreign key is a in reference to this foreign key only so primary key is student id okay for the student table here only i will give the student okay database is not excel guys okay for just i'm for a sample i'm creating here okay this is your student table for example and there is a another table department table okay so department table is there here there is a department id okay and then department name or a branch id branch name okay so which branch they are up for example so branch we will term as a department only so it department and then mechanical department is there and then civil is there okay how many are there i electronics is there right again different branches are there yes guys so these are the different branches you are applying so there is a this one is a id this one is a id for this one this one is id for this one okay these are and then so for this department table department id is a primary key primary key means it should not be a null and it should not be duplicate right so each entry we have to differentiate so this department id is a unique okay so this is a primary key here in this department table yes or no guys so we are giving department id as a primary key any question in this and for this table we are giving student id as a primary key id will only be primary key name we can't give department name we can't give the primary key because name can be duplicate right so there is a division a in the it division b in the it there are 10 divisions in the it only okay there will be classes right so a b c sections so they will be all referring to that same name for example so name cannot be unique so we will not give, give the primary key to that so primary key we are giving so department id here in this table department id is a primary key everyone understood this yes rajini yes rajini okay so each department will have a head okay each department have will have a some um, head of department is there or a section wise categorization some different people are there they are working for it okay and uh, each department has uh some time schedule to work each department has some other things like that okay here in the okay guys so here so the branch is there and then here department id we will be taking from this department okay so the candidate who is applying for it means what department 101 the it is right department id is so the entries will be created in this department id also for this student for each student 
right so this is called as a foreign key foreign key is a primary key in reference okay some other table there is this one is a primary key for this table it is a foreign key okay so this foreign key is also unique and not duplicate because it is a primary key for some table and then we are creating a reference here okay so why we are creating a reference we need to create a reference so that we can join the tables and then understand okay so which student is applying for which branch you have the details here so the tables are connected okay okay guys so able to understand this one this much so what is the database database is a collection of interrelated data right what is database management system is a software that is used to manage the database okay and for example ms sql sorry mysql and oracle okay so these are the applications that are used for database management system okay so mysql and oracle okay mysql is and then oracle is very famous database management system so what database provides provides an interface to create to perform various operations database creation sorting the data updating the data creating the tables in the database and a lot more right it provides protection and security to the database database management system what is database management system this mysql and oracle okay these will provide the security to your data okay so in case of multiple users you can maintain the data consistency what is dbms allows users to follow okay so you can perform different operations or different tasks so what different tasks you can perform using this database dbms database management system okay data definition data definition so what data definition is creating the data means creating the table okay creating the table and then modification okay and then deleting the data deletion of data so these different operations you can perform so what are the characteristics of this database it uses a digital repository okay it can provide a clear and logical view data dbms con con contains automatic backup and recovery so your data will be automatically having the backup so that you can recover okay so it contains the asset properties maintains the data in a healthy state uh in case of failure okay it can reduce the complex relationship between the data used to support manipulation processing of data provide a security to the data okay so these are the characteristics of dbms what are the advantages of dbms advantages easy to maintain right your first advantage is having this table easy to maintain right easy to understand easy to share easy to backup okay and it will control the redundancy what is redundancy means 
so if you are creating a duplicate entry for a sati and student id you are giving 1001 so it will show already the data is available entry is available for that candidate no need to create a duplicate entry so the duplicates also you can avoid having that duplicates these are the advantages of database so easy to create easy to maintain easy to backup okay what are the disadvantages disadvantages are like you have to pay for this license for this mysql and oracle okay bit costly it is okay so instead of this data instead of this database instead of this table if the data is maintained in a file for example notepad consider guys how difficult it is to maintain in a notepad this data very difficult right so student id i want to search for some student id it will be very difficult i want to store a student name for particular id only so 101 i want to give for this user and then branch so that row unique row each row is for one user or one student we cannot create that way so it will be difficult to work with file system or a notepad or a word file when we are working with such data having multiple rows and columns right very difficult yes yes so the columns titles it is making us easy to retrieve okay so what is my sql query so what is my sql and how that my sql will help in writing the queries and uh, retrieving the data creating the data okay so we will see that so for my sql so what is my sql and then how we can use this what is a database database is a collection of tables database will have the collection of tables what is a table table is a matrix okay so table in database looks like a spreadsheet simple spreadsheet like this one okay so column row the data will be in the combination of column and row okay and primary key is the unique key and uh, cannot have duplicates and cannot have null okay it cannot be null so this is about the basic so what are different my sql statements okay the queries we write so what a query means so any questions guys in this till this no rajini no okay good so we will have the sql commands to write So what is SQL means now? Okay. So my SQL is a RDBMS. RDBMS. RDBMS is relational database management system. Okay. SQL is structured query language. okay so yes right you are so it is it is a 
structured query language a standard language for storing manipulating and retrieving okay so it is a structured query language so query language you can write the query so what a query is so the query will perform a different operation storing manipulation okay so first query we will write so there are statements okay so select statement select statement is to retrieve the data if i want to know the data or print data about all these student table so how we will write star select star from table name we have to give okay so table name we have to give so this is a syntax so what is my table name student is my table name okay student is my table name and semicolon so after i run this query all the data present in this student table will be printed what is this select select means select that all the rows and columns data everything from the student and print here okay so on a sql you can so for this one we will see one exercise okay so what are the where we can do this exercise is on a w3 schools sql editor okay run a sql query okay here it is printing so i will not give this order by everything okay so that is we will see later select star from customers so what all details are present in the customer it is printing okay what details are present customer id customer name contact name address so how we create no need to worry about that developer will create that data will be created for testing we will be using the sql query select which query we will use the statement we will use select statement okay so you can tell in the interview as well so you uh, you majorly worked on a select statement only so you are aware of database and then you worked on a select query so what it is printing everything okay so everything it is printing any question in this no i can write a condition as well where ct equals to so i will give city equals to berlin i will give and then run so this is a entry for that okay which is matching to the city right so this is a one entry available in this table so where clause is used to provide the conditions conditions for specific okay i want to see for a customer then i will give okay i want to give a address or a city or a postal code or a country okay for a country i will search okay for a country this is my column title okay for a country where column name equals to value right and then run the query so for a germany how many entries are there these are the entries some five to six entries are there so around 10 entries are there right for a city there was only one entry okay the matching result it will show so like this you can add the condition select is to select that data so how this data is available guys so one row is for one customer id right so this a customer entry is this one okay so entire the customer id is for this one alfreds and then this is contact name is maria and then address and then city is berlin and then germany country is there okay so this is for one user second entry is for second user third entry for sec third user we can write different conditions where i can give where condition for each column i can give for a customer id i can give for a customer name so i have to give here the customer name column and i have to give a value as well okay so this is value i want to i have to give so if i run that we can search for that particular entry 
okay for example the customer are having the names i want to check uh, how many customers are there for the from the city okay from the country from the india how many are there from with the name how many are there with the address how many are there like that so you can search the data you can create a entry you can add the data you can perform different operate operations right so what is a select statement guys select, select statement is to retrieve retrieve data from the table right correct right so retrieving the data from the table sql is structured query language so sql will execute queries against the database right we will specify the table name and in that table it will perform that it will execute that query okay retrieve the data we can insert the record in the database we can update the record we can delete the record we can create a new database create new table okay so basic select star from we have seen now Rajini, the uh, SQL is for uh, is used for all database to retrieve the data. Is there any other uh, commands like SQL is used for Oracle, MySQL? It can be used, right, for all the databases. Yes, yes, yes. yes. SQL is used. Okay, everywhere we will use this one. Select statement. Okay, to retrieve. There are different uh, languages as well. okay but uh, we majorly use sql there is a uh, different uh, mongodb is there the the writing statements is different syntax is different a small change is there but it is same only okay so sql you should uh, be aware of okay they will be asking questions on the sql and the uh, queries what we use so what different queries we have okay so what different queries we have we have a select query to retrieve we have a update query to update the data in a database table okay and then we have a delete for deleting a particular row so we can delete a table also we can delete row also a single row single row means delete this one we can delete okay so that syntax and all we will see what other statements we have we have insert into insert into will insert a entry in a table okay insert into column name and the row we have to give and then table name we give so we will see that syntax create a database so create database is a uh, for creating the new database alter database alter table is for modification and again we have a create table okay after we create a database we will create a table database is a collection of tables right and then create create table create okay alter table and after this drop table create index and drop index okay so we will not create anything but should be aware of so i am giving here okay so select statement can be used in very so many of 
ways okay so for example i want to like i do not want star not star means all the columns it is taking okay all the columns it is taking i just want a customer id okay you can specify customer id and then i can run so for that matching result i will get customer id if i remove this one i will get all all the customers right i will if i remove this all what will be the result i will be getting guys all customer all ID. the customer ids right so all the customer ids we are getting and uh, so apart from this i want other column names also for example i want customer id okay comma i want customer name okay and comma i want only the city okay no other details i just want customer id name and city from the customer so this will give me customer id name city no other details will be displayed here we can add a different conditions okay again you can add a condition like i want only the customer with the city name like this select statement you can use in different forms so these are the different forms star means all the columns will be coming if you are not giving condition all the rows if you are giving the condition the matching rows you will get okay able to understand guys any questions simple it is yes yes where clause is used for writing some condition what condition we can give we can give city equals to guys we can give some less than greater than conditions also suppose there are number and then we can give greater than this number okay some salary uh, is there or employee table is there and employee salary having more than a greater than a 10000 like that conditions also you can write so where condition you can give the condition for a match for a greater than or a less than like that you can give the between also between that range we can give for a pattern as well like okay so if you give like and uh, i give l only so l o i give so matching city with lo it will be printed okay if i give like be so other things it will take anything okay any characters in that so it is a pattern search okay some examples we will see so tomorrow we will see that i will not cover in a day everything so what is a database guys database is a logical structure of storing the data in the form of table rows and columns okay yes what is a table table has rows and columns right uh, one entry is called one row is called one entry yes uh, each for column user, yeah for each user or for one uh, particular there is a relation between that columns right so one entry is for one user or a one student so this is for this student okay the id is for that student branch is for that there is a relation between that okay so the entire row is for one right right and uh, what different operations we can perform delete update creation uh, alter right creating yes. the database right these are the different uh, operations we can perform how to how we use the select query so what is the syntax of select query select star from table name right so table name is so table name is 
your table name okay student or department that is a table name star means all the columns and all the data it will give you so the result will be all everything okay for particular column also we can give select student id from student right so you can perform some your practice on this guys okay so this i will ping you here w3 schools editor you can use this one okay here the database is created the this data if you guys install okay sql mysql uh, you are installing sql server what will happen like you have to create this database put entries and then you can practice this select query okay so in real time we will not create that database everything we are as the tester we will be performing the retrieve operation okay data is properly uh, updated or not or uh, in api testing we will be checking or writing this sql uh, select queries right sql select queries so we no need to go through all that steps okay you will be getting so many questions in that and no need to worry about so what we need we will focus on that and completely you understand okay and whatever is needed you understand that is enough okay so no need to overburden yourself like i will install it i will run it i will create the database i will write a table i will input the details so all you have to Cre create the entries like insert into user uh, the command you have to use insert into this table and then this table will be created and then you can use the select query okay instead of all that trouble you can practice here use this editor and then practice okay so what different things are available you can use select star from what other tables are there here i want to see for example rajini we see in the right side table names customers categories yeah, employees yeah customers yeah, yeah, right side like, yeah right side yeah. Uh -huh. so employee table is there okay so here yeah. there is a data and then it is very much easy to practice the queries right so we have got the result here i want to give a condition okay so in real time also when you join a company there will be already the database and all that will be created you have to write the queries okay you have to perform the testing so in testing you will be matching okay employee id is the how many uh, employees are there in the table okay the 10 count and uh, the data is so depends guys okay what we are in which phase we are in so if we are checking the count okay the count is exactly or the data is not null or the entries are created properly all the, all the entries are available like that some null entries are getting created or not or based on that okay based on a condition business rule yes uh, do we have to use uh, get to use any primary key and uh, unique key foreign key? Yes, we have to write the joins. Okay, so joins means joining two tables. Okay, I want to get an uh, employee details who is a manager as well and whose salary is more than some uh, digits okay and uh, uh, he is a manager he is an employee so i have to join manager table sorry which table i have to join with this like employee table i have to join with the department table or uh, some other table okay so we will see that some joins are there for example i want to get the orders of the products the cost having more than this one okay so there are scenarios we need to join the two tables and accordingly we need the output okay so that times we will write the joins and that time we have to understand what is a primary key foreign key and how we can re create a relationship like how we can give the condition for a matching and then we will be retrieving the data okay the first column how many uh, like the matching rows are available and then how the data we will be getting so there are different types of joins inner join and then outer join left outer right outer 
okay so there are some types of joins that we will see and in the joins uh, we will be learning about primary key okay so So that is very important interview question. Like, what is a primary key? What is a foreign key? What are the joins? And uh, this is very basic. Okay, no one maybe will asking like, what is a table? What is a database? Database is a collection of table, or table is having row and column. The questions will cr come from this point. Okay, the questions will come from uh, how to join, or what is a select statement? What is a query? and from this point the questions will start what is the select it will be used for and then what is the star or, or can i write a query like this or how to write a query for particular condition we had we can add a where condition right and uh, so different questions will be there based on this so how to join what is the left out to join or what are the different types of joins like that or what you have performed in your database testing explain your uh, scenarios in the database testing like that questions will come okay so this is about basic of database and sql so tomorrow very important topics we will discuss like the interview questions what are the joins what are the uh, different statements okay the again how we write pattern match okay how we write the select query for different conditions to minimize the output or to get the exact output and uh, so with where we will be using and or not operator also and will like we can have a different multiple conditions with and or so or means if one is false one is true then also we will get a result not is negative condition we can give we can use a order by for a sorting and then so i got a result but i want a sorted result right so that one we can use order by this we will see tomorrow okay so some interview questions we will discuss about this database Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, guys, then. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye